Hello guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making this simple planet space scene. Um, there's two resources you need to download and they'll be in the description which is this optical flare that I'm using here and this earth texture courtesy of Andrew Price for making this blender. He's got a tutorial on that so if you want to make it from scratch go ahead. But I just found it on his um, Google Images. Anyway. Um, we're going to start with the tutorial and we're making this in GIMP as usual and we're going to go to File New and I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 you can use 1280 by 720 but anyway so I'm going to first of all um, start by filling in our background with black as usual this makes dark anyway so we're going to zoom out to 25%, um, depending of course on your monitor size, so zoom out in general. Then we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to um, hold in shift, sorry, hold in shift, we're going to Okay, as I said, get your elliptical um, marquee tool and we're going to simply holding shift to create a nice so, like so. We're going to click enter and we're going to fill this one. Holding command um, shift A or control shift A depending on what operating system you're using you can deselect or go to select okay the next step in the tutorial is simply we're going to um, new layer and then we're going to go to file open as layers and we're going to open up our earth texture which just mentioning is quite a large size so Thinking back again, I should have picked a smaller size, but um, but um, I I just just didn't. Um, so you need to scale that down quite a fair amount, and you can see my job is not cope very well. Um, this for it is a massive massive. And since we are just going to be using the top half, we're going to just position it like so. The next step in the tutorial is to right click on our semicircle and add the three selection map. Then ensuring that the main proportion of our earth texture that you want is in the selected area, you want to click Command I or Control I to keep the operating system, and then Command X or Control X again. And that makes a really nice cut for us. Um, and we're going to go to select. Okay, as we see, we've got this nice um, earth texture going here. And I shouldn't have deselected because we're going to right click out to selection. And we're going to fill this area, the new layer, in with this blue. The HTML notation or hex value is 47A1A7. Um, getting that we need to grow it. So you need to grow your selection by 10 pixels. Okay. And again. Um, okay, the next step in this tour is duplicating this layer. And then we're going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to blur this part. There we go, 81 for the first one. And then the second one is a horrible line and we're going to remove that by blurring that. Uh, by around 40. And you can change the opacity for that one, the second one. Okay, um, we're going to, sorry about that. We're going to move our semicircle, our original semicircle, just below the earth texture. Um, 
just for a few steps ahead I'm just remembering um, the next step again is to right click on the earth's texture and add a layer mask and it's going to be black full transparency make sure you've got that selected then click add now you're going to grab your eraser tool and you want quite a large fuzzy brush I'm going to be using the super soft brush um, and then I just, I don't know how I got that name, anyway. Um, and then we're going to start um, making what part of the earth is visible. So first of all, we're going to um, just, sorry, it's the pen, the paint brush tool. Just going to softly, softly does it. I think that's a bit too much. Um, it's really personal preference. So I'm going to go back right to the beginning. Let's start again. I definitely want the centre here to be more vibrant than the rest. So I'm happy with that, how that looks. Um, it all depends on your personal opinion, um, but I'm extremely happy with what I've got. Okay, the next step in this tutorial is to, um, we're going to create the inner glow for our image here. So, we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to put it just here, and we're going to alpha selection, the alpha to selection, sorry, the um, black here and we're going to fill that in with the same blue like this. okay and then we're going to go to select shrink and we're going to shrink that by 10 um, and then click control or command X on your keyboard Now you can see we've got our um, an inner outline here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to blur this by around 41. And you can duplicate this for a nicer glow on such areas. Um, we're also going to get the eraser tool and erase it all. all not on a super soft brush, quite a hard brush, merging the layers down, uh, and just get rid of all that excess that will oh, oh, be too much. Um, not super hard, just gently doesn't. Um, all down there. like so um and now we're coming into the end of our tutorial so the very close end sorry now we're going to create a new layer and simply get this paintbrush tool with a super soft brush again and we're going to make a new layer as i said before and put a nice splodge here standing up like so and this is adding a nice glow for us using of course the same colour also the next step is we're going to um, alpha to selection this layer here as usual and move that above everything and grab a white brush and we're going to paint the top of our earth white you've um, just made this um, glow here you can the opacity of that you don't want it too strong um, yeah and um, we seem to be up to the final stage of our tutorial and that is adding our optical flare and if you haven't made added an optical flare in your time it's always a first 
So we're going to go to File, Open Layers, and we're going to open up this optical flare. And looking at our optical flare, we want it right on top of everything. As you see, it's got this horrid like, beam across here, and the, the texture is not nice. So, first thing we have to do to our optical flare is to go right click on the layer, add an output channel. That gives it transparency. The next thing we're going to change the layer mode to addition. That removes the blackboard, and then we're going to get our eraser tool, still on our super soft brush and we're going to erase it all but we still want some of the beams left for us and don't forget to erase some of the glow as well because the glow sometimes is really unnecessary the better thing to do in this situation is probably um, sit the to pull some um, Okay, there we go. I, I'm sort of happy with that. Let me just do it. Okay, then I'm going to move it. Just like that. And um, there we go. And what I want to do now is I just want to go to colors, um, colorize, and yeah, make it aqua like the rest of our glows that we've got going. Click OK. And um, just to do some touching up, I'm going to get our super soft brush. So I'm going to apply the layer style. With our super soft brush, I'm going to get the eraser tool. Just erase some of those harsh edges that we've got. Because they really do not look particularly Yeah, of the, of our earth here. So we we just want to smooth them out quite a bit. Um, should have done that. Um, just going to smooth out also darkish layer here because I don't. Really not, not nice. It's just smoothing. That's a bit too much over this side. Just, just smoothing it out. Just the main objective, and that optical flare is looking really harsh up here. So we're just going to unpile it a bit. Okay, and you can either move that all the way down. Sorry, not all the way down. this far down or so it looks like it's rising over or completely on top but I think I'll leave it like this for now and just sorry like that and just smooth out the top that for us um like so um as I said thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial